Welcome back. Today we're going to discuss your home assignment. Now the whole idea of this is to get a, an understanding of the basic water usage within your home, right where you are. Now we're not going to cover everything because we want to keep it simple, just so you can see how much water you are using. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure three things per day, three activities actually. Number one, how often a toilet is flushed. Number two, how many drinks people have in a day. Now that's only coffee, tea and water. And the third one is how many loads of washing go into the washing machine? How many loads of laundry are done in your house per day? Now this all depends on how large or how small your family is, what events are going on. So these are the instructions. I want you to get an A4 piece of paper. That is your normal piece of paper. We're going to do it in landscape. So landscape is long ways. This is portrait. This is landscape. And you're going to divide it into three sections by drawing two even lines. So you do need a ruler. Okay. And you're also going to need uh, some headings like this. So you can have toilet, drinks, laundry. Now you only have to do this for seven days. It does not matter when you start. But I want you to put this. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Leave a space underneath a gap. You don't have to have too much of a gap. So make it even as, you, as what you can. So we put a heading, toilet, drinks, laundry. Now the reason we're doing this on a piece of paper, not our, on our Excel sheet or on our computers, is because we want people in your family to participate in this. So you're going to ask each family member to mark a section when they've used, if they've used the toilet, they can put a mark. If they have a drink, they can put a mark. And usually it's the mums doing the laundry. They can write down how many times a day they are using the washing machine. Now there's a big, big reason we do this, okay? You start on any day of the week, but you complete it for seven days, one week. So your week is up. Your chart is completed. See that? And I'm also showing you a close-up of what I did. What I want you to do is add up each section and write the total down here. Just the total. That's what I want you to do. Okay, you've done that. Now, for every flushing of the toilet, I want you to do times 10. That's 10 litres. Okay, so every time a toilet is flushed, it averages out at 10 litres. Okay. When it comes to the laundry part, back on the washing machine, just at, once you've totaled it, times it, multiply it by 100 litres. So for example, in this one, there were nine loads of laundry done in one week. That now equals 900 litres. I have multiplied 94 flushes of the toilet and it equals 940 litres. So you got that? Great. Now the glasses or the cups of drinks that you had total milk. So I've got a total here of 69. Now I just did random numbers. Yours will be different depending if there's two people, three people, ten people in your house. Okay, and hopefully they've all participated in this. Now, one glass equals 250 mils. How many mils are in one litre? Four, that's right. So, I've had to multiply 69 by four, which is 17.25 litres. So if you need some help with that, ask an adult to help you. Okay, so that's what I've done. So that will give you a little indication of what you need to do. But that is just the first part. Okay, the second part of your home assignment is this, putting everything into a graph. Now this does depend on your age and what you have been experiencing with the computer. For some people, they don't know how to use Excel or Numbers or, or a program like that. They haven't been exposed to that. So we are going old school, so you can do it on both if you like. What you're going to do is you're going to make a bar graph. And a bar graph is just a little bit different. I want you to choose three colours. One for the drinks, one for the toilet, one for the washing machine. So we're going to take the numbers that we have here and our figures that we have there and we're going to put it on here. Now this is your vertical line, this is your horizontal line. On your horizontal line you do the days of the week. Now I've left about a three centimetre gap in between all mine there. On your vertical line, I've put numbers. I've done from one to 19. Now, 
You can do these in closer spaces if you have your numbers uh, that are larger than that. So what I've done when we go back to our piece of paper that we had hopefully taped to the fridge was to add up each day how many. So on Monday there were 20 toilet flushes. There'll be a lot more. On Tuesday there was only 12. Wednesday there were 10. And it goes on and on and on. So our washing machine one is very easy to do because it's only a simple amount. But the toilet flushing and the drinks will be a lot more. So let's have a look. And I'll also show you the screenshot. So I've taken those numbers. I've got my colour code. See I've got red here for drinks. Green for the laundry. That's the washing machine. And blue for the toilet. You can choose any colours that you like doesn't matter. In fact, the brighter the merrier. From the data you collected on the chart that everybody in your house has participated in, I want you now to write on here. So what I've done, so red are the drinks, so this is the number of drinks people have had, and I've marked it, and I've coloured it in red. Same with the washing machine, and the flushes. So it's all taken now from one piece of paper to another. You're going to mark, so Monday was this amount of drinks, this amount of laundry, this amount of toilet flushes. Now, if you're used to something like Excel, you can do the same thing there. And here is a demonstration of how I took those numbers from a piece of paper, put them onto the computer. Let's have a look at that. And that is your home assignment to do over one week very easy. Then you can bring it back to your group and you can discuss how many people you had in your house. Does that show that you have more toilet flushes? Does that have more amount of washing to be done in the, as part of the laundry? Maybe it's one day when hardly anyone's home. Maybe you were all out at school or you went out for a sport event or you jumped in the car and you went out for a trip somewhere. Well there won't be many toilet flushes that day and maybe mum decided I'm not going to turn the washing machine on either. So those numbers will be low. But there might be some days that there will be more washing to be done in the washing machine. And uh, that's cool too. So you can just see the pattern of that. It'd be really good to meet with your fellow students and go, what were your results like? What day was more of a use than others? Why was that? So this is about monitoring what we have at home and how just a little bit of water can get used in lots and lots of ways. Thanks, guys.